As global technology giants continue to make moves to gain greater market share and increase their profits, consumers across the world are left with little choice but to hope for better products and services. Now, the race to dominate the 5G technology space remains heated, with the players jostling for space. CCTV's Philippa Sean looks at the phenomenon in this report during the closing ceremony of Huawei's Seeds for the Future program in China. The global technology race appears to not be slowing down. According to 2018 European Commission Industrial R&D Investment Ranking, the top six technology companies, Samsung, Alphabet, that is the parent company of Google, Microsoft, Intel, Apple and Huawei were responsible for a spending spree in excess of 70.7 billion US dollars in research and development alone. It is no wonder majority of the world's leading consumer electronics and enterprise solutions come from these companies. The competition remains fierce among them. A common thread, however, is the mission to expand the frontiers of communication across the globe to ensure increased market share and profits. One of the major cornerstones of this mission is the deployment of 5G technology on a global scale. Those battle lines were made even more prominent in May 2019 when President Trump placed Chinese technology company Huawei on the U.S. Department of Commerce's Bureau of Industry and Security list. This banned Huawei from U.S. communications networks. At the heart of this was the race for 5G technology deployment. Huawei was blocked by Google from future access to Android updates UK-based chip designer ARM seized all activities with the brand and multiple retailers and networks around the world had to stop dealing with Huawei for fear of sanctions from the US government. In July 2019, however, President Trump lifted the ban. How has this altered the plans at Huawei? Director of Public Affairs at Huawei, Chris Pereira, in an exclusive interview with Business Dashboard, believes the company remains focused on its greater vision on communication. Huawei says it has currently signed 50 5G license contracts worldwide, with 28 in Europe. According to Chris, there are investments into even bigger and broader technologies. We are the, right now, uh, as I speak, we are the only company in the world capable of delivering end-to-end -end solutions for 5G and uh, we want to share that with the world. Uh, what, what is going to change with 5G is not the average person's cell phone speed speeding up and watching movies faster. What, what it's going to do is bring connectivity and com competitiveness to countries who deploy 5G faster uh, in terms of the in industrial applications. For example, self-driving cars can become a reality under 5G because the latency is much shorter. So, likewise, in far, th far north communities, in rural communities, you can have access to smart healthcare smart education, all of these things are made much much more accessible when you have 5G networks with the faster speeds and lower latency. So it's really truly fully connection, full connection around the world is going to become a reality and a possibility for the first time. 5G was born in Canada. Uh, the research center in Canada, which is near Ottawa in, in Canada's capital, we began uh, 5G research in Huawei in Canada. So um, I can tell you that uh, we're always at the frontier of, of technology and uh, you're going to see some uh, amazing things coming out of Canada again as we look towards the next generation of technology. He intimates that investment into the future generation is one of the key goals of the technology company. So uh, Huawei's vision for the future is to bring digital to every person, home and organization for a fully connected intelligent world. And Seeds for the Future is a huge part of that. Um, so the Seeds program is in its 11th year globally. Uh, this year we're bringing 110 countries to China to study tech, first a week in Beijing, a second week in Shenzhen, and uh, I think this is the, the bigger vision is to really connect the world. So technology does that through the internet, but we think more than that, we think that bringing people together, we have five different countries here this week, uh, with those 110 countries coming together to, to learn and to connect, that's another part of uh, what we find is really important for Seeds for the Future. As the global race in ICT development continues to heat up, many of the world's giants within the technology industry, Samsung, Huawei, Microsoft, Apple, continue to do battle as to what the next front line or frontier will be when it comes to the growth and development of new technologies. With billions invested in the African continent and with a few more billions on its way, Huawei Company Limited looks to be very much prepared to increase its footprint on the African continent and of course across the world. Despite the wranglings 
that we've heard from the United States and Huawei as a company, it appears that the company still wants to pursue its vision of driving innovation globally. As to how it will all pan out, we wait to see. But if 5G and the conversations around 5G are anything to go by, it looks like Huawei will very much want to invest in 6G as well. And they have indicated that that is something they are looking at doing. From the corridors of Huawei headquarters in Schengen in China, this is Philippa Sean reporting for Business Dashboard.